so uh, what we want to first of all is just start with uh, what was the initial big news, and that was the uh, diocese releasing the list of names, if you will. Forty-four priests, two deacons in Sacramento, who had been credibly accused of sexually abusing about 130 children and adults uh, over a span of seven decades. Yeah. Well, that, you know, that um, uh, many of those uh, accounts have been uh, part of uh, news reports over, over the, you know, the last couple of decades. But I thought it was at this, at this juncture in our history, it was important for us to own that story and for me as the bishop to uh, say that this, is, that this is our history, as, as black and as bleak as it is, but for us to, rather than just let other people tell that story, that it had to come from me, and, and, and that and it had to be, uh, this, is, this is what our history is, to acknowledge that history, for me as the bishop to own that history, and now moving forward, to do everything that I can as bishop to atone for those, uh, for those sins, uh, uh, for for the, those crimes, and um, and to to do our best to to heal um, the victims and also to um, to make sure that never happens again. So, the language you use there, you agree they're not just sins; they're crimes. Yeah. Yeah. No. There, there was. Uh, um, there were crimes that were committed uh, against uh, uh, against children that uh, um, that should should not have happened and are are uh, gut wrenching, uh, heartbreaking, and 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 sickening. To that end, what do you say to folks, Bishop, who say, "How does this happen over seven decades without there having been some type of cover up?" Yeah, well. You know, the, uh, I, I think that there, uh, it's hard to go back, and, and I, I, uh, I can't go back myself and try to explain what, uh, how this evil could have, been, uh, could have been perpetrated. But I know today that I cannot do that, and we can't do that as a church, but that I have to, um, uh, I, I, have, I, I felt obligated to lay it out for what it is and to make it, and um, we we warn people about how ugly uh, many of these cases were in the past. Bishop, is this list exhaustive? No, uh, this is um, uh, you know uh, having published the list um, that this has um, this has been very difficult for for people to read, but also for uh, there are uh, I acknowledge that there are are probably victims out there who. Um, had never came forward, and never had, never, ne for whatever reason, never told their story. And so you're saying that there are prob probably other names that aren't on that list. There, are, there are other victims, and there, and there could be other names. I, 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 I won't rule that out. And uh, but having published the list, I know has uh, hopefully created a, an opportunity for. Uh, people to come forward with greater confidence and to say, this is what happened to me. And so the list can be amended. Yeah, the list can be amended, both in terms of the acknowledgement of victims, as well as, as perhaps even perpetrators that, are, are, uh, uh, that, uh, that we don't know about. So let's talk about that, because uh, you know, we've seen some folks who were saying, uh, uh, is there some type of system in place where once, that, once you do amend the list, that people will say, hey, uh, we want to see that name as well. Like, is there a certain time frame every few months or every so many? Well, I, I think that uh, um, uh, I mean, going forward, um, that um, we, we want to encourage victims to come forward and to and you know and tell us their story and for us to to hear that and to to, to look into um, any accu any any new accusations that come in, both in terms of perhaps previous perpetrators. Or perpetrators that that, uh, or that uh, we still don't know about, and for us to be able to act on that in the most responsible way we can. You know, Bishop, some are concerned that the list lacked certain information, such as the last known whereabouts of those named, mm -hmm. uh, calling it uh, incredibly irresponsible, uh, suggesting that you perhaps should have taken out full-page newspaper ads uh, in the counties where these priests might still be 
around kids. Is that, uh, was that, uh, I know that uh, Philadelphia, I think, uh, did something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, is that something that you would consider? That, I mean, we've done, uh, uh, we've been as public as we can with this list in terms of um, uh, letting the parishes know where uh, these, you know, the, uh, uh, the accused abuse took place. And, uh, and we've been, uh, um, you know, in, in terms of our um, using our website and other ways of communicating that news out. And, and, uh, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm confident that there's, um, I mean, this is the, uh, the news about this list and, the, um, and uh, has been widely uh, made available to, to the Catholic community and to the greater public. But to the point of the last known whereabouts of these priests, uh, uh, is that something that you think should have been included? Uh, I, as far as, I mean, we, it, many of the priests have died, and, 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 as, and if we, um, uh, if, if we knew, uh, if there, if some of them have already gone to the jail, and uh, uh, I, I'm not sure what you mean by the less. The less known whereabouts is. Uh -huh. Very specifically, you know, if we know they were in X parish, or they were moved to X parish, or they're in X area, oh, or known X, you know. Well, any, 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 first of all, any priest who's been credibly accused is no longer in ministry, uh -huh. and I think that the and, and the list makes that very clear that uh, that. No, no, but I mean, as far as if they're in X, the last known location of that person uh, that the church knew, do you feel that that type of information would help? when it comes to, I mean, it's the same type of thing we do with sexual, sex offenders. Mm -hmm. They have to kind of, you know, notify folks when they're in the community. Mm -hmm. In terms of, uh, of, of where they, you know, if, they, if somebody is out of ministry and, and their, their whereabouts, I haven't, uh, 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 I haven't given that some thought, so I, I don't it's know. something you would consider. S something I would consider. I belong to a church, that, and, and we, uh, we believe that uh, that we are the body of Christ, and um, uh, and that I uh, I have to take responsibility, and I can't. I, it's it's it doesn't it doesn't do any good for me to to blame the past. I have to own the past and take responsibility for that uh, uh, for the for the sins that have been inflicted on the church, and to do my best to try to. Um, uh, atone for those sins um, and make that a personal responsibility, not somebody else's responsibility, and to do my best um, to, uh, uh, to heal the, the wounds of the past and to recommit myself and my brother priest to the good work of the church for the future. Anything that I have not asked you, Bishop, that you think that you want to get across in our conversation? Well... I, I know that um, uh, in this very difficult time for the church, um, that I also know that the church continues to do some very good work, particularly with the poor, uh, with the marginalized, with immigrants, um, and, that, and, and that there are good men and women, good priests and deacons that are very committed to the mission of the Lord Jesus and, and, and want to be um, his ministers, want to be his messengers. And, and, and those uh, men and women uh, encourage me uh, by their continued devotion to the church and that even in these difficult times um, that they have um, not let up in, uh, in, in, in doing what is good and what is right and trying to be good disciples of the Lord. It, 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 it will mean um, uh, dramatic changes mm -hmm. for um, other parts of the world that have, have either uh, discounted this or ignored it uh, or excused it. And, um, uh, and that, that this conversation has been taken to, on a global level um, is, um, is, will be uh, significant.